In recent years, discussions about the future of economics and society have been dominated by the concept of a universal basic income, or UBI. However, a recent statement by Sam Altman has also introduced an intriguing alternative, a universal basic compute, or UBC. This concept envisions a world where, rather than receiving a basic income in money, individuals would receive a share of computational resources. This could be used, sold, or donated, representing a new form of economic value in a post-artificial general intelligence world. And to know more on this, you have to stay tuned till the end. The prospect of artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI, machines with human-level intelligence, looms large on the horizon, and with it comes the potential for a complete overhaul of our economic and social systems. A core tenet of the universal basic capability framework revolves around the idea that traditional forms of labor and economic exchange might become obsolete in an AGI-dominated future. Imagine a world where automation reaches previously unimaginable heights, manual labor of all all stripes is relegated to the realm of history, but replaced by dexterous robots capable of feats beyond human limitations. Even intellectual tasks, once the domain of highly skilled professionals, are taken over by AI with unparalleled processing power and analytical prowess. In such a scenario, money, the traditional medium of exchange for goods and services, could lose its central role in the economy. The ramifications of this shift are nothing short of profound. If AGI can automate nearly all forms of work, the need for human labor, both physical and intellectual, could dwindle significantly. And this automation wouldn't just bring down the cost of goods and services, it would fundamentally challenge the current economic model where the value of labor is tied to monetary wages. Instead of money, computational power, the ability to harness the capabilities of AGI could become the new currency of productivity, as argued by theorists like Rowan Sloan and Mark Andreessen. In a world brimming with automated services and readily available goods, scarcity, the very reason money exists, could be drastically reduced. This would upend the traditional economic system where labor and services are exchanged for monetary compensation. Imagine healthcare costs plummeting due to the development of AI-driven predictive models that can accurately diagnose diseases and offer personalized treatment plans. Education, agriculture, and manufacturing could all experience similar transformations with AGI-optimizing processes boosting productivity, and making goods and services more accessible to everyone. This potential shift from scarcity-based economy to one of abundance has far-reaching implications. How societies are organized and how individuals derive value would be entirely redefined. Imagine a world where food production is so efficient that hunger is a relic of the past, or one where energy production is so clean and abundant that environmental concerns become a distant memory. The possibilities are vast and truly transformative. The impact of advanced AI goes beyond economics. It fundamentally reshapes the social contract. As more jobs become automated, the need for new societal structures to address the changing landscape becomes increasingly apparent. While technological advancements historically have created new jobs while eliminating old ones, think the rise of service industries with the decline in manufacturing, AGI represents a quantum leap in automation capabilities. Many experts fear that, this time around, new jobs may not emerge fast enough or be readily accessible to everyone, leading to a rise in income inequality and social unrest. Addressing this challenge will require a paradigm shift in thinking. Governments, businesses, and educational institutions will all need to adapt to prepare individuals for a future with vastly different workscapes. Universal basic income is a potential solution being explored as a means to provide a safety net for those displaced by automation. However, UBI alone may not be enough. We may need to explore new models of work and redefine the very concept of employment. The rise of AGI also forces us to reevaluate how we define value as a society. Traditionally, value has been closely linked to one's contribution through labor. In an age of abundance, where the necessities of life are readily available, how do we find meaning and purpose? Perhaps the focus will shift from work to personal fulfillment. Imagine a world where everyone has the freedom to pursue their passions, engage in creative endeavors, and contribute to society in ways that go beyond traditional employment. The rise of AGI presents both challenges and opportunities. While the potential for widespread unemployment and social unrest is real, the possibilities for a future of abundance and leisure are equally compelling. Embracing the potential of AGI and proactively addressing the challenges it presents will be crucial in determining the shape of the world to come. The choices we make today will determine 
determine whether AGI ushers in a golden age of human flourishing or a dystopian future of hardship and inequality. On the other hand, UBC could democratize access to powerful AI systems, allowing individuals and small businesses to leverage technologies that were once the domain of large corporations. This could stimulate the innovation and economic growth, provided that access is distributed fairly. The democratization of AI could also empower individuals to create and innovate in ways previously unimaginable. By providing access to cutting-edge technologies, UBC could foster a new wave of entrepreneurship and creativity, driving economic progress progress and societal well-being. The introduction of UBC, or at least a combination of UBC and UBI, prompts a reevaluation of the social contract. How society values labor, creativity, and contribution will undergo significant changes. While some foresee a world without jobs, others believe new forms of employment will emerge, similar to historical shifts. In this new paradigm, the role of education and training becomes crucial. As the nature of work evolves, individuals must be equipped with the skills and knowledge needed to thrive in a digitally driven economy. Economy. Lifelong learning and upskilling will be essential to adapt to changing job markets and technological advancements. In anticipation of these changes, individuals and businesses must prepare strategically. Investments in career choices should align with the evolving economic landscape to ensure resilience in the face of automation and AI-driven change. This could involve reskilling, investing in technological literacy, or advocating for policies that promote equitable access to UBC. Furthermore, the role of governments and policymakers in shaping the future of UBC cannot be overstated. Regulatory frameworks must be established to manage the ethical, legal, and economic implications of UBC. This includes addressing issues of privacy, security, and fairness, as well as ensuring that no single entity gains undue control over computational resources. As societies become more reliant on AI and computational power, ethical considerations come to the forefront. Ensuring that AI is used ethically and responsibly is crucial to prevent misuse and protect individuals' rights. Transparency in AI decision-making processes, accountability for AI-driven actions, and fairness in algorithm design are essential principles that must guide the development and implementation of UBC. Privacy concerns also loom large. With increased reliance on AI and data-driven technologies, the collection and use of personal data must be carefully regulated to protect individuals' privacy rights. Clear guidelines and regulations on data protection and consent are necessary to build trust and ensure that individuals' data is used responsibly. The transition to a post-AGI economy is a global phenomenon that requires international collaboration and cooperation. The transition to a post-AGI world presents a unique opportunity to redefine economic and societal norms. The discussion around a UBC versus UBI highlights a need for forward-thinking policies and societal frameworks to adapt to the transformative potential of AGI. The future may indeed be redefined by computational power, where the ability to access and utilize AI systems becomes a cornerstone of economic participation. As such, the debate over UBC and its implementation will be central to shaping the future of society. As we continue to explore these concepts and prepare for the future, it is important to keep an open mind and actively engage in discussion discussions about the ethical, economic, and social implications of UBC. By doing so, we can work towards creating a future where technological advancements benefit everyone and contribute to a more equitable and prosperous society. So what are your views on this? Please do let us know in the comment section below, and for more amazing videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel.